Then what you find is that these hallmarks then go on to influence other things. And eventually, you get in a case where the original hallmark making more things worse, this is then going back and influencing the first thing, making that even worse. And what you find is that this means aging is driven by multiple vicious cycles. And as a network scientist, we like to refer to aging as what we call an inflected cascade disorder. And essentially what that means is that the system's running smoothly, one thing goes wrong, this has a cascade effect, it impacts a lot of other things, these then start going wrong and eventually they feed back onto the first thing and make the whole system even worse. And because of this, aging demonstrates exponential progression. Aging is not linear, and unfortunately, in reality, this means that our next five years of our life is going to be markedly worse than the last five years of our life. So already at this sort of high-level view, what you can see is that aging is very complex. But actually, this is a very simplified version because underneath each of these hallmarks of aging, We've got hundreds, even thousands of proteins that are all talking to each other in complex networks. So this tells us that if we want to do anything to try and slow or try and reverse the effects of aging, then it's going to be quite a difficult job. We're going to have to do multiple things to try and have any impact.